Hello guys and welcome to another immersive engineering tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about lots of uh, items and blocks. They are decorative, they are useful, they are... well, they are various. So uh, let's start over here actually. Uh, three items that you will have a good use of. Wooden storage crate. Let me take two of these. Next we have the wooden barrel, also made with the treated wood as, uh, as a cr the crate. And finally, with some metal, we can do the metal barrel. And I will use the portable tank to, uh, to show how this works as well. But okay, let's first show off this one. This is a crate, normal chest, looks like anything, right? Well, not really. Because if we break it, then it will keep its inventories. Notice now that it didn't stack up with this one. So we can place it back down and here are our capacitors. So very useful. You can bring your stuff in a portable way. But keep in mind that these you can store storage crates within the storage crate. Other than that, very useful. Okay. Then let's move on to the wooden barrel. This is for fluids or gases, but not hot ones. So you can't have lava in it. Fluid is too hot, uh, but we can have water like this. Perfect. Uh, you can also set the uh, set it to be input or output. Only the top and bottom is uh, is possible to do that on. Uh, take a look here. We can set this one to be output and we can set this one to be input. And then if we pour water up here, it will just flow down here to this one. And let's see, it's hard to change the... <laughs> right. So, okay. So if you want to stack them on top, make sure you set the inputs and outputs like they should. But uh, yep, they will also keep their... Let's see if we did this correctly. There it is. So when you break it, it will keep its the fluid that's inside. And you can stack them or keep them or whatever. So that works well. And then the metal barrel works exactly the same way. So let's have input here. Place another one. Uh, and then shift right click on the top two times. Now we can store. Ah, damn it, like that. Here we can store lava, so just go down. All right. 12 and soon 12 here as well. So that one is fast output, but these are not quite as fast. But lava, water or other fluids. You get it. So now we can move on with a few other useful items. Lighting. First, this one. The normal lantern. Glowstone, glass panes, iron. You will get four of them. That's a good, good bang for the buck, I guess. Uh, since you can uh, place them down and they will emit light at all times. In the, the same amount as a glowstone block, if I recall correctly. So nice, and you can be decorative as well, and you can use them with a post or use some other uh, blocks that we will cover soon. Anyway, lighting is good, of course. Next one is the power lantern. Glowstone, redstone, iron, slightly more expensive, and you, but you still get two of them. So of course the difference is that this one needs power, to be run, if we set nine time, we have no lighting over here. But if we go into this room, you can see I placed a few here with, uh, yeah, with the wooden posts to make it look better. Perhaps should have it slightly higher than the normal to make it look really good. Oh well, uh, you just need to provide them with some power, but not much. 
if I take a look at the current transformer, it says zero. So you hardly need any. I haven't really looked if you <laughs> how much current you need if you have thousands of them, but I don't think it's much anyway. So and then we can move on with the final lighting item that I wanted to. Well, we have one more as well, but anyway, the floodlight. Oh, right. I forgot to mention that the power lantern also keeps mobs from uh, from spawning in a 32 block radius. So if you stack these or you, you place the, these around your base, you will quickly. Well, you won't have any problems with your uh, mob spawning anymore, I guess. So finally, we have the floodlight. Slightly more advanced, but more customizable, uh, really fun. So iron, copper wire, mechanical components, more glowstone. And the floodlights is quite fun because you can right click and shift right click. And then if you go to the top and right click or shift right click, you can, as you can see, you can direct the light. And it looks like this. Um, let me see. We need some wires. Ah, like that. So if we... No, this is the way. <laughs> All right, looks quite cool. Really nice. So that's the floodlight. Um, remember to direct the light. It looks even cooler then. So one final lighting is the balloon. Well, so this is quite fun. Uh, let me just remove these. Tough fabric torch and treated wood slabs. You have seen this before from our hemp's. You only get two balloons and these can be placed. The, I think the best part is that they can be placed in front of you. So first shift right click to change the level. So zero means just in front of you in the air. If you shift right click two and have plus two, it ends up two blocks up. And then plus five means that it goes even higher up. Looks like more than five, perhaps 10 blocks. Well, anyway, so that's... Um, yeah, you can make a stair. Nice. Let me try that before, but okay, it looks kind of stupid, but uh, you understand. And these can be colored. Uh, use the hammer to change the way the stripes go and then just be colorful and make whatever you want to make. All right. Now we can move on and we can set daytime as well because we don't have any more lighting to go through. So there are two types of wire or cables that look very similar to the, uh, the normal low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage ones, but they are quite different. So first we have the hemp rope made from your hemp fibers and some and a stick. You will get, well, four per, per each. So the same amount as fibers, I guess. For decoration only will not transmit power. Well, there is one more use, but we'll get to that in a little while. Same thing with the steel one, steel cable, only for decoration will not transmit power. So keep in mind that they exist and use them well as you want to. And now we're getting to some more, even more decorative things. First, we have the structural cable connector. So this one is used to, well, to, to set your ropes and cables like this. Easy. But place them again. And where is our wire? You can't attach your wires. So it's for, uh, for uh, decor decorative purposes. And you can use your hammer to rotate them to make it look like this. Well, you get the point. And then the next one is the steel wall mount from steel scaffolding and fence. It's, 
not only for decorative purposes, you can place it up or you can place it down. You can have it, I think you can have it sideways, I think. Oh, anyway, um, you can attach your connectors to it or you can actually even place your uh, high voltage relays like this. Or if you can find some better ways to do it. I don't know, this is not really the best, <laughs> uh, the best looking po post, but you, you get the idea. So um, for lanterns, whatever, it's up to you to make it look good, I think. But we have one useful item. So when we talked about these decorative uh, wires or cables, uh, they're not only for decorative purposes. So if we take a look at this, the skyhook, quite fun thing, steel ingot, iron mechanical components and some wooden grips. Well, this one will let you uh, traverse your cables. So just keep your right mouse button and it will, you will just walk along the, uh, the cable. So uh, you have to be quite close to a connect connection point to make it work. It doesn't seem to be able to grab in the center of the of the wire. And it works on low voltage wires, it works on high voltage, it works on hemp. Oops. Yeah, don't be too <laughs> too close to the ground because you will end up into the ground. Just a little reminder. So that's quite can be quite useful for just traveling and then you just release your mouse button or press uh, dismount and you will uh, yeah you will be released and the final item engineer's toolbox aluminum aluminium plates wooden storage crate and some rose red it's quite obvious how you what you put in it tools goes in here you can have uh, not only immersive engineering tools, I think you can have pickaxes and uh, yep, so tools go up here, food in this slot and then we have wiring in the middle one and down here anything goes. So bring an anvil, bring some, uh, I wonder if the jerry can can fit in here somewhere. It does, so bring a few jerry cans, anvil, and some uh, steel or iron, and you have a good, you will have a good round with, with your, uh, make your drill. Uh, and then of course, a few wooden storage crates for all your, uh, all your ores and stone and such, and because you can break them, make have 20 of the crates filled with things. So I think you can uh, pretty much figure out <laughs> what to do with it. So useful and uh, decorative things and uh, well mostly useful I think and uh, perhaps a few fun ones <laughs> as well like going in this with a hook very funny. So if you have any questions about what I've gone through of course just leave me a comment and uh, let's talk about it and well I guess I see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care Bye-bye.